about the castellated beams and uh, mainly in uh, Cy3D software and uh, before uh, starting this presentation I'm going to Cy3D software so uh, it's nice actually to understand what is the castellated beam so here uh, as you can see so I'm in the uh, cbeams.com uh, website so you can go there and uh, actually there is uh, there are you know lots of information about the castellated beam so you can go to uh, just google it and then so you will get um, you know um, useful information but uh, I prefer actually you know to uh, come to here, see beams, and uh, from here, so you can read the what is the castellated beam and general design uh, or castellated beams, and also the history of the castellated beam, and also uh, uh, what is different uh, between castellated beam and uh, circular uh, or let's say cellular, uh, cellular beams. Uh, but uh, basically, uh, castellated beams uh, are fantastic, especially you know once they have the uh, great strength to uh, weight ratio. So which means you can optimize your uh, beams or members. Uh, while you are increasing, you know, their moment capacity, shear capacity, and also at the same time, you are decreasing the, uh, let's say, uh, the, the uh, chance for uh, local buckling as well. So it is, you know, all the advantage of castellated beam. And as you can see here, so you have the castellated beam here, or if I go back to here, you can see the castellated beam. So in different, uh, let's say, uh, manner. So you can just go to um, uh, your Google browser or any other browser and then uh, search about castellated beam. So here you can see the, uh, you know, different shapes for castellated beams. And uh, if I go back to uh, Cyp software, so here I have this structure, and uh, from here I can see that, you know, uh, these uh, members are assigned as castellated beam. And if I want to show you the render view, so I can go to complete the structure, and from here, so you can see that here you have the castellated beam. Okay, and uh, the type of the uh, opening that you have in Cyp 3D software, so let me show you, so if I select this member, so here you have the uh, hexagonal uh, opening, you have the octagonal, uh, and also a circular opening, which is uh, simply it is a cellular opening or a cellu a cellular uh, beams. Okay, and here also you can read about the uh, differences between uh, castellated beams and also uh, cellular beams as well. And also here in the uh, C beams, so you can also you know read more about the uh, you know uh, castellated beam why uh, cellular and castellated beams so why you need to use this uh, uh, type of beams and the advantages are here so you can read it uh, but anyway so here in Cyp 3d we have actually you know this uh, features and uh, so right now the problem that i want to discuss with you is about uh, you know the special cases because simply you know here i showed you that you have the castellated beam in Cyp 3d but uh, sometimes due to you know some requirements so you need to have such uh, castellated beam so which means here so you have this uh, castellated beam, but at the middle, so you need to uh, provide actually, you know, the uh, uh, space, okay, for connections, or sometimes actually, you know, you want, you want to avoid uh, the opening. So, uh, which means, you know, uh, there is no any opening at the middle of this beam. So how you can create it in uh, uh, Cyp3D software. So let's uh, go back to Cyp3D. So here, if I go to tools and then render view, element selection. So here, just I want to select uh, this beam. And then here I have actually you know this castellated beam, but uh, from here I want to actually you know uh, uh, just remove this, uh, for example, three uh, openings. Okay, and uh, the, the uh, question is that how we can uh, actually go for such solution. So for doing this, I will go to bar and then, uh, sorry, I will go to node. I need to create a node. So go to node new, and then let's say uh, right now I can see that the uh, overall length of this uh, castellated beam is eight meter. So I want to go for, uh, let's say uh, 2.5 or let's say three meter. So three meter here. So let's say here, I want to go for three meters and create one node. And from here also, I want to add another node at three meters and at the middle, so I have two meter. So here I have three meter. And then for this one also I have three meter at the middle, two meter. But for this two meter, so I don't want to have any opening uh, for the castellated beam. So uh, the next step, you need to create this element as uh, three elements. Okay, so I can go to create element, just click on two nodes and then say yes. And right now I have the analytical member. Then I will go to node, uh, go to bar, sorry, and then go to describe. And from here, so 
right now I have all of them as castellated beam, but I want to change this castellated beam to normal beam without any opening. So just click on this uh, middle section of the beam and then right click. And from here, so I can see that the uh, uh, parametric uh, options that I have, but anyway, so the most important thing is here. So the H, which means, you know, the overall height of the castellated beam, which uh, the software is automatically uh, showing me. So here I have the overall edge as 687 uh, millimeter. So the only thing that I need to do, so I need to go to edit option. However, also I can go to add a new, uh, uh, let's say beam section, but for uh, simplicity and for easiness, because here uh, I can see that, you know, the, uh, uh, the castellated beam is made uh, of uh, UB 457, 152, and 67. Definitely, you know, for this uh, specific uh, I-beam section, I have the, uh, you know, specific thickness and also a specific, you know, uh, the flange width and, uh, you know, so on and so forth. So that's why you can take advantage of, you know, this uh, current section without changing, you know, the flange, uh, flange thickness or uh, web thickness. So the only thing that I need to modify here is the uh, depth of this section. So that's why I will simply go to edit instead of, you know, uh, going to add. However, as I told you, you can add it but uh, you need to spend a lot, uh, you know, a little bit more time. But here, uh, editing is, um, you know, more appropriate. So that's why I will click on this. And then, so from here, I will go to find the section, which is here, 557, 152, 67. And then here I have it. And then go to make a copy of this section. So just make a copy. And then here you have it at the end of this uh, UV series. And then go to edit option. So from here, so I will even, you know, I can change the name of this UV section. So I will name it as, six, eight, seven. And from here also, I need to change the depths of this section. So right now is four, five, eight. So I will change it to six, eight, seven. Okay, and then enter. So right now I have it. And then here you have, let's say, you know, some uh, a warning. So simply you can uncheck these options for now. Okay, and then accept. So right now I have UB six, eight, seven, and then accept. So the only thing that you need to do, just go here. And here you have the edited or your user defined section. Click on this and then accept. Okay, so another thing that you need to do, so just go back there and make the castellated beam or change the castellated beam to simple section. Okay, but here, make sure that you are selecting the edited section, accept. Okay, so right now I have this. And if I go back to render view, once again, here, you can select these three members and then right click. Okay, and then here you have the section for the say castellated beam but at the middle, so you simply you can, uh, let's say, uh, uh, remove the opening in this, in this way. So hopefully you enjoy uh, this uh, uh, tutorial. Uh, please stay tuned with us for getting the updated videos and uh, you know, the uh, future uh, tutorials. And uh, please uh, encourage us by uh, subscribing to our YouTube channel. And if you have any question, please uh, leave your comment uh, uh, beneath of this vid video and uh, we'll come back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much and have a great day.